Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. We're talking today about dies that are called elastic geometrics and it allows you to combine geometric shapes and rubber bands to create the most terrific three-dimensional shapes you can even imagine. If you look here at the soccer ball, um, this is actually a truncated isosahedron. However, it's kind of fun that the kids will know it as a soccer ball and it has been created using construction paper and number 10 size rubber bands. Basically it uses pentagons and hexagons and each of the geometric shapes in this set have these flaps on the geometric shape itself that make it simple to hold them together with rubber bands. So let me first show you the set itself. Here it's a three die set and there's multiples. This this one has the pentagon and the square, and this one has just the octagon, and this one has the hexagon and the triangle. And you can cut them out of uh, laminated cardstock if you want super durability. I'm cutting through six pieces of construction paper, and I'm going to cut the one with the square and the pentagon because I think the quickest one for me to actually put together to show you is the cube. I'm running it through the Big Shot Pro, so all I have to do is just turn the handle and I'm cutting everything I'm going to need to make the three-dimensional cube. So I'm going to reach over here and just pull off of the die all of the six squares that I would need to make the, the 3D cube. And you can see that the perforations are going to make it super simple for me to attach them together. Now if you want extra durability, you might want to consider using laminated cardstock and let me show you those. Here are some that have been laminated and I've already gone ahead and I've folded, just finger folded on all of the perforations, which makes it easy to then take, these are number 10 size rubber bands and I'll bring over a box so you can see. If you buy a box of rubber bands um, at the office supply store or the stationery store, you get a whole lot of them. My dad would call this the over Pete's sake size um, because there's so many in there. But you're going to need a lot because it's fun to use these to put together tons of different shapes. So if I take the number 10 rubber band, because each of these uh, geometric shapes actually have one inch sides, which is why they go together so easily. So each time I'm attaching them, I'm just using the rubber band. Now, I, I mentioned that I'm using laminated construction paper and that's great for durability. However, I'm going to be showing you some things later. When you get into the really large shapes like the soccer ball, if they're laminated, the shapes start to want to slip around and even even though I don't have particularly large fingers, it became really difficult for me. So when I got to the really large shapes like the soccer ball, I decided not to use the laminated paper. I went ahead and switched it out and went back to regular construction paper. The beauty of using the rubber bands is that you are able to then dismantle it at any time and use the same geometric shapes to create any number of other geometric solids. So it really reinforces the principles when you're studying. Think about if you're studying volume and you want to actually fill this with something like rice and have the student understand the difference between volume and, and area and even perimeter. All of those things are so wonderful to be able to do with your kids in a format that is hands-on, which is what this does. I just need to put two more rubber bands and you'll see how quick it goes together to create that three-dimensional cube. In this case, using laminated, um, actually this isn't construction paper, this is cardstock. Now, probably the simplest of all would be the pyramid that's made with the four of the, of the pyramid shapes. This is the pyramid, the triangle-shaped pyramids. And you can also do a square-based pyramid we did the cube. Let me bring over a couple of other options. Here's a truncated octahedron. 
I really think this was probably the largest size that I could use the lamination for before it started to want to slip around on me as I was trying to assemble it. So when I did, as I referenced, when I did the soccer ball, you can see that this one is not laminated. This one is just standard construction paper. You could also use cardstock and that would make it sturdier still. What's really fun is you can use like wallpaper books and use pattern papers. I mean, the, the number of things that you can cut um, of course, the machine will cut them all wonderfully, and then you can assemble them into all kinds of decorative elements as well. If you don't have the rubber bands handy, I decided to try making one with adhesive to see. And this is the exact same shape, but in lieu of the rubber bands, I just chose to put adhesive on those flaps. And it works just as well. So whether you use rubber bands or adhesive, your students are sure to love making these three-dimensional solids with all the elastic geometrics.